What's up, Instagrammers? I know it's not Titty Tuesday. I, I did go live for Titty Tuesday, and then I erased it. So I was like, you know what? After finding the thing that I found this morning, I needed to go live to read it to you. But first things first, right? We need to do a little prayer. We're about to talk about some satanic shit like we do every day. We just don't mention it as satanic. All right? So let's get our sage ready. Get that ready. Light our candle. Light our candle to bring the light in, to bring the positivity. Since we're about to speak on evil, Because you may not think so, but everything that is happening is evil. Remember, I've told you that demons are walking the earth. They've been convinced. So here we go. Let's sage ourselves. Divine one. Protect me against my own negativity and the negativity of others. Divine one, I demand an abundance of good health, financial wealth, faith, wisdom, and love for myself and this family. I demand an abundance of protection upon my family and my friends. Physical protection and financial protection. Divine one, I demand an abundance of awakening amongst the people. An awakening of truth, Lord. Please have people... Come forward with the truth and stand up for what is right. Divine one, I demand an abundance of healing within my mind, my body, and my soul. Take this pain from my body and help me to be stronger and help me to be ready for the fight that is coming. Divine one, I demand an abundance of good health, financial wealth, faith, wisdom, and love for myself and this family and for everybody who listens to this. I demand an abundance of protection upon my family and my friends. Physical protection and financial protection, Lord. Please keep people strong financially and physically through this war. Amen. Oh, and thank you for waking us up today. There we go. All right. We're going to leave the candle going. We're going to leave all that going while we do this. This is also a wake and bake. And then we're, I'm going to get into the reading, okay? Now, I found this secret covenant okay after receiving a video of a woman from 2009 reading the secret covenant i did some research and found the secret covenant printed out under that were people commenting and this woman wrote something else that she had read that sounded almost similar written quote by satan so i'm going to read that too So get comfortable, get comfortable. <laughs> All right, here we go. Printing it out, it was three pages, okay? It was three pages, so it's going to be a little bit of a read, but I'm a good reader out loud, so here we go. It's called The Secret Covenant, a Satan, a Satanic Point of View, okay? <coughs> here we go. An illusion it will be. So large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time 
so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will, oh, it was paused for bad connection, huh? Yeah. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience, for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators and sedatives in food, water, also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find a cure from our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their minds and reproductive systems. From all this, their children will be born dead and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, in what they drink, eat, breathe, and wear. We must be ingenious in dis. They're giving me bad connection, even with Wi-Fi, while I'm reading this. How funny. Anyway, okay. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good, with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used in film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it's their, it's their help. We will start early on when their minds are young. We will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metal. We will fill them with metal that will kill their mind and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we'll create yet more medicine. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow and obese, and when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention toward money and material goods so they many, oh yeah, so they many never connect with their inner self. They, okay, they may never connect with their inner self. There's a lot of typos in this. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures, and games so they may never be one with the oneness of it all. Their minds will belong to us and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind altering technology into their lives. We will use fear as our weapon. We will establish their governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. We will always hide our objective, but carry out our plan. We will perform the labor. They, sorry, excuse me. They will perform the labor for us and we shall prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure always for it is the way. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and gently, letting them think they are guiding themselves. We will foment on animosity between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death, whichever suits us best. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. 
The hate will blind them totally, and never shall they see that from their conflicts we, conflicts we emerge as their rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us. They cannot see us. We will conquer, I'm sorry, we will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We shall repeat this over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger the, uh, through images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have accomplished. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by your labor. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them that we are all one. This they must never know. They must never know that color is an illusion. They must always think they are not equal. Drop by drop, drop by drop, we will advance our goal. We will take over their land, resources, and wealth to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom they will have. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in debt. When they sh shall band together, we shall accuse them of crimes and present a different story to the world, for we shall own all the media. We will use our media to control the flow of information and their sentiment in our favor. When they shall rise up against us, we will crush them like insects, for they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything for they will have no weapons. We will recruit some of their own to carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal life, but eternal life they will never have for they are not of us. The recruits will be called initiates and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Members of these groups will think they are one of us with us never knowing the truth. They must never learn this truth for they will turn against us. For their work, they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles, but never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive the light and travel the stars. They will never reach the higher realms for the killing of their own kind will prevent passage to the realm of enlightenment. This they will never know. The truth will be hidden in their face, so close they will not be able to focus on it until it's too late. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom will be that they will never know they are our slaves. When all, of, when all is in place, the reality we will have created for them will own them. This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin. I'm going to read that again because I think this is where we are. When all is in place, <clears throat> the reality we will have created for them will own them. Our goal, can we just go back to the way it was? That's the reality they created for us. Can we just go back to the way it was? When I could be lazy and not worry about what's going on in the world? This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin. Now we have more control. COVID passports and testing and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> their minds will be bound by their beliefs. The beliefs we have established from time immemorial. Mm. But if they ever find out they are, <clears throat> they are our equal, we shall perish then. This they must never know. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never ever find out that we have done what we have done. For if they do, we shall have no place to run. For it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. <clears throat> Our actions will have revealed who we are and they will hunt us down and no person shall give us shelter. 
This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives, for this reality will transcend many generations and lifespans. This covenant is sealed by blood, our blood, we the ones who from heaven to earth came. This covenant must never ever be known to exist. It must never ever be written or spoken, or for it is the consciousness it will spawn, will release the fury of the prime creator upon us. And we shall be cast to the depths from whence we came and remain there until the end of time, infinity itself. <clears throat> well, that's crazy. I don't know when this came out. Uh, the furthest back I have found is 2003, which was this copy. Um, you know, whether you believe in God or Satan or not, you know, it, it really doesn't matter if you listen to the words that this was speaking. So, I found this, right, on some site, 2003, I think last revised, 2011 or something. And then people get to comment underneath, you know. And a woman commented, and she said it reminds me of one I read a couple years ago, which I've never heard. So I was like, hmm, let me print that out too. This is, I don't know if you want to call it church, excuse me, um, but it was called The Secret Covenant, A sa Satanic Point of View. Um, if you missed it from the beginning, please watch from the beginning so then you can hear the whole thing, okay? This was written from another female. Yes, this is, uh, I mean, if you want to call it religious, um, I, I believe that all religion is connected to the same message. And um, it's kind of weird for me to think that we have thousands of years of this same message continue and we want to think that it's not true. We shouldn't listen to it, you know. So I, the critical thinker that I am, like to research stuff and keep my mind open to all realms because I do understand and know my human power. And I understand and know the God-given power that is given to all of us. And what says in here about us banding together is the truth. Everything we've been indoctrinated with, fed, drank, everything was to keep us from our oneness, was to keep us from our humanity, and was to keep us from knowing ourselves. Knowing ourselves is knowing God. That's God power. You don't have to believe in God. I don't care if you believe in God or not. I'm still going to keep speaking about what the fuck is happening. That sounds about right. Government is on track to oversee and control the people. Yes, but you got to break it down even further from government. The government is ran by people. And who are these people? That's what you have to pay attention to. We, government is very broad. And we need to break it down to who are the people? Who are the ones who are helping this bullshit? I heard some satanic points of view. They have good stories also. Yes. So I want to read... Uh, this woman's, you know, comment on her story, her Satan story, okay? She says, it reminds me of one I read a couple years ago. Satan called a worldwide convention. In his opening address to his evil angels, he said, we can't keep them from reading their Bibles and knowing the truth. We can't even keep them from conservative values. But we can do something else. We can keep them from forming an intimate abiding relationship experience in Christ. If they gain that connection with Jesus, our power over them is broken. So let them go to church, let them have their conservative lifestyles, but steal their time so they can't gain the experience in Jesus. This is what I want you to do, angels. Distract them from gaining hold of their savior and maintaining that vital connection throughout their day. Whether you believe in Jesus Christ or not, you need to think of it in a different way. 
You need to minus Jesus Christ out of it. If you're more spiritual, it's the same message, okay? Jesus Christ is just an example of light, okay? An, a light individual, an individual who had the light. And that's who Jesus Christ represents. He represents what you and me could be, okay? Whether Jesus Christ was real, the story of Jesus is real. So it's, it's a metaphor. His life is a metaphor for what we could be as human beings, what we could accomplish, the miracles we could accomplish and have ourselves if we were to connect to the God power that is within us. Okay, because I know a lot of people tune out when they hear, oh, Jesus Christ or Satan or, you know, people start to tune out and you need to really look deeper and read between the lines of religious stories and, and stuff like that. So you can really understand what they're trying to say and the message that is really there. Don't get hung up on on, on the religious look of it. Look between, you know, read between the lines. So here we go. This is what I want you to do, angels. Distract them from gaining hold of their Savior and maintaining that vital connection throughout their day. How shall we do this? Shouted his angels. Keep them busy in the non-essentials of life and invent unnumbered schemes to occupy their minds, he answered. Tempt them to spend, 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 then borrow, borrow, borrow. Persuade the wives to go to work for long hours and the husbands to work six or seven days a week, 10 to 12 hours a day, so they can afford their lifestyles. Keep them from spending time with their children. As their family fragments, soon, as their family fragments, soon their homes will offer no escape from the pressures of work. Overstimulate their minds so that they cannot hear that still small voice. Entice them to play the radio or cassette player whenever they drive to keep the TV, VCRs, CDs, and their PCs going constantly in their homes and see it that every store and restaurant in the world plays non-biblical contradicting music constantly. This will jam their minds and break that union with Christ. Fill their coffee tables with magazines and newspapers. Pound their minds with the news 24 hours a day. Invade their driving moments with billboards. Flood their mailboxes with junk mail, sweepstakes, mail order catalogs, and every kind of newsletter and promotional offering free product services and false hopes. Even in their recreation, let them be excessive. Have them return from their recreation exhausted, disquieted, and unprepared for the coming week. Don't let them go out in nature to reflect on God's wonders. Send them to amusement parks, sporting events, concerts, and movies instead. And when they meet for spiritual fellowship, involve them in gossip and small talk so they leave with their troubled consciences and settled, unsettled emotions. Let them be involved in, in soul winning, but crowd their lives with so many good causes that they have no time to seek power from Christ. Soon they will be working in their own strength sacrificing their health and family for the good of the cause. It was quite a convention in the end, and the evil angels went eagerly to their assignments, cursing Christians everywhere to get busy, 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 and rush here and there. Has the devil been successful at his scheme? You be the judge. Boom. So there you go. Whether you want to believe it or not, whether you want to believe in God or not, you know, these messages have been passed down. It's the same story. It's the same story. And this is what's happening. Evil has been happening. All this factioning up, all of the segregation, all of, all of this poison, all of it. Our minds are poisoned, our bodies are poisoned. And they don't want you to see the truth. My friend asked me, Nicole, don't you get scared? Don't you get scared about posting the things that you post and saying the things that you say? You don't get scared? You know, he asked me, do you get scared? I mean, look at what you post. 
You know, he's like, I would just be quiet. Like, why would you not just be quiet? And I said, why would I be quiet? <laughs> it's the truth. If I'm going to get... If I'm going to get killed over the truth, then I'm going to die over the truth. Then that's my destiny. I'm going to die telling the truth. I'm not going to live this lie. I'm not going to live this lie. While everybody else, like it said, would be delusional and they want to be delusional and go back to their delusional lives. I'm not delusional. And I understand that I'm going to.